Hello everybody and welcome back to France for episode 45 of Keep It Real. And it wouldn't be Keep It Real if we didn't start in a negative figure. <laughs> £780 minus. Not very good at all. But I am very hopeful. If my predictions were correct, we may have a calf today. I'm not sure. I've not seen anything in there so far. But yeah, I believe we should have a calf by now. Well, it says animal six. So that's a good start, isn't it? Oh, there it is. Our first baby calf. Amazing. So that's fantastic news, isn't it? But they shut that so they don't escape. The only thing is, it would be really helpful if it was a female. Calf female. Even better. Amazing. So yeah, we, we've uh, welcome to the farm. Welcome to living life with not much bedding and not much food. But I'm sure it would do fine. Let's jump out through this doorway. That's great. I was kind of hoping that. I was predicting beginning of February we would get one. So that's fantastic. Um, is there milk produced? Yep. So they are producing milk as well. 104 litres of milk. Which is amazing. Now, we do our usual check-in. There's not a great deal of food there. They've only got about 4,000 litres of silage. But I still don't believe this will be the time of the year to, to do silage contracts. I'm not sure. We may have to stop off at the pub and just have a look. But we've got to earn some money. I guess that's the first priority. We'll check in with these guys just while we're here. Plenty of food. There's 54 animals here now apparently. 54 ducks. Amazing. Let's just jump into this menu and see. Right, so we have got six male ducklings, which have obviously just been born. The rest are female. So what I'm doing with these now is essentially making them disappear. They don't really make us any money. Where is that trigger point? Where is it? It's here somewhere. I might have to. Oh, there we go. So yeah, all I'm doing on this screen, they're only worth $1 each anyway. And when you select them, I am, I'm just selling them, which is not something I normally do. But look, you get minus the $6 fee or £6 fee. So actually, they don't cost us anything. So we're just giving them away, which is fine. Just giving them away to the, the local Chinese restaurant, maybe. Um, so let's just get rid of these ones. So sell those for zero. The reason I'm doing that is they're just eating food that I don't want them to eat. Yeah, so that's just that just seems the right thing to do, I think. Let's just give them some food while we're here. Lovely, and it kept a bit this time. I thought last time I lost some grain, but maybe I didn't. Okay, right, so, so they're doing good. They're all females, which means they're egg producers. And they're full on food again. Amazing. So handy to have that pallet right there, isn't it? Really is handy. And then we just have a sanity check. What are we like for eggs? 53. I mean, they're producing eggs now, aren't they? It's definitely going up. It's definitely going up. Now, I'm not overly concerned about the money because I'm pretty certain by now there's two pallets of apples. Which I think experience about £1,000 worth of apples, aren't they, every time you take two. So that will get us back out of debt anyway. So amazing. So that's got to be the first priority. Definitely. And you know what? I was kind of thinking. I, I just mentioned more as a, as a joke really in the last episode. But we'd only take out a loan if we were going to buy you know, a, a little bit of land or something. And I'm, a loan, when I say a loan, I mean a, a big loan. Obviously it allowed us to, to borrow kind of 25 grand last episode. Which is a lot. Probably too much. But there are some really small little plots on the map still. Um, so I might have a little look at them. I might just have a look. I know there is one. Oh, I think the tractor just did a wheelie them. Yeah, I know there is a, a plot somewhere near the bottom of the map. It's a very small one, but it's got trees in it. And we kind of know trees have done us well on this series. So I don't know, is it worth taking out a loan to buy a very small plot of land that has trees on it just to then sell the trees? Dunno, it could be worth it. 
could be worth it. But I can't be worried about spending money until I've made a little bit of money. It's really good news though that that calf is born and it is a female because that's obviously a, a future milk producer uh, and a future cow producer, uh, which is amazing. Right, shut this off. And we'll just head up here and load up these apples. Now, you may notice, I don't know, depends, depends if you've watched any previous episodes, I guess, but I did mention I felt a bit rough. I felt like my voice was going. Today, I definitely feel even more like my voice is going. I don't know if you can you can hear it, but it's typical, isn't it? You book some time off work. Without the children, I think it's alright. I can do a bit of catching up on recording. And then, yeah, I lose my voice. Day two of, of having a day off, a week off work. Day two, and my voice is going. I have no idea how. I'm going to get on with recording the roleplay story mode and trying to do... Travascus and Terry, I guess that they're both as as difficult as each other to do. Yeah, they may uh, they may sound like they're poorly as well. Maybe I'll have to make that part of the story. I don't know. Anyway, we'll get rid of these apples, and yeah, I, I don't know what to do. I I think I think maybe taking a little drive down to some smaller plots and then taking out a loan might be a good thing to do a little bit of money top up from trees and potentially if we can do it right if we can work it right we'll have a little bit left over just to get the agro service so that we can at the very least get that other field finished that the plowing needs to be done so that we can buy the the field data get get a company in to do the field sampling yeah we, we need to do that because there isn't really much more going on until we we start prepping that field properly and, and planting something. I'm still undecided, by the way. Do I stick with grass? Or do I plant something? Plant, plant something, some sort of grain? I'm not sure. I really don't know what to do. I would quite like to get into the kind of the grain or the kind of just standard arable type stuff, really. But, of course, that comes at cost. We need a harvester for it. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Anyway, in the meantime, while I'm there, this drive doesn't actually take too long, which is nice. I hope everyone is well. Oh, the fuel light has just started beeping as well. That's fantastic. More expense. So I don't know. In the, I'm recording this uh, Tuesday morning. But you may have, in the meantime, seen an, an Alma, Missouri map, hopefully with some helpers. I don't know. I haven't recorded that yet. I haven't even started that yet. But I feel like maybe that should be the next one. I don't want to flood the channel with too much Keep It Real. Is it selling both planets? Yes, it is. All right, so we're almost not minus anymore, which is good. Any second now. Woohoo! There we go. We're back in the positive. Amazing. Wonder how much we're gonna make. There we go. Three hundred and eighty-five pound positive. That's good. Now, of course, we've got a a bit of leeway. I thought that guy was floating then. Because our next big, big batch of bills isn't until March. We have got obviously some some maintenance, some standard costs every month, but. They're only a couple hundred pound, I think. But yeah, when when we get to the end of February, we need to really have probably about two grand just kind of sat there ready to cover our bills. Now, what do I do? Do you know what? Let's stop the engine a minute. And let's just have a little think. So, in terms of a loan amount, I think this amount changes a lot, by the way, as well. And... Yeah, so you can see our payments have gone off there. Look, we now only owe 19 grand on one and still just under 14 on the other. And yeah, see today we can only loan 17,000. So it does change. So maybe it's not quite collateral. Maybe it's just catching it on the right day. 17,000 pound. Okay, we'll bear that in mind. This is what I'm talking about in terms of 
the various different plots here. So right at the bottom, I can remember the, the initial episodes I was looking at this one, I considered that one, but you know, that's 40 grand. But right here, wow, it's even got some discount as well. And that, that's not auction, that's just the dynamic field prices mod. So this one here, look, 40,841. It's got 22% off, which is good. Yeah. And I mean it's not it's not as big as the last plot of trees that we bought, but it could be denser, I don't know. It could have as many, it could have more trees in it. I I think I think it's worth the drive to go down and just have a look. Maybe we'll head back to the yard and we'll get the car for that though. That will be a bit quicker. Yeah. So if we were to take out the £17,000 loan, which again is putting ourselves into more debt, it's not a deal, is it? But we can spend just under 15 of it on this, potentially make that back if there are enough trees on that plot, and still have enough left over to finish the agri or repair the agri and lease out a plough because we need to get this done. We need to get this done. If I go to this one, you can see. The pathetic attempt of ploughing that I've started. Yeah, it would be a lot quicker if we had a bigger plough. And, oh, sorry mate. The good news is the snow hasn't settled. Whether or, whether or not the snow comes back, I don't know. It, it, snow seems to follow me on this game now. Never used to be a problem, I think, because I, I openly said I'm not concerned about snow. And now, it's everywhere I go. Right, let's try and park this so that we're not blocking the roadway. That also does need some fuel. And let's just go around here again. Now, is that still in the trigger? It is good. What was it again? 1,192 to repair that. Yeah, do you know I, I think that's I think that's an obvious thing to do. There weren't any... I didn't stop and look, but there weren't any tomatoes. So I can't start kind of the interactive productions as of yet. Oh, that looks like a... Oh. That looked like a good one. This one here was almost ready to go. Look, they're all wobbling a bit. Go on. Go on. No. I don't know, you know, I reckon that might be the record. Seven. This one did a 180, so I'll get a bonus point for that. Seven. I don't know, maybe that's just matched my record. No, maybe that's just matched my, my PB. A personal best. Um, I think. I think, getting that field is the right thing to do. Now, I'm kind of talking to myself. Do I really want a plot of land all the way down there? It's a long way to go, isn't it? We'll have to go all the way back to this point here. I think that is a long way to go. But it is another piece of land that we'd be owed. Um, see, that one would be even better, wouldn't it? 26,207. I just don't feel we can raise the funds. Do you know, if I took the loan out in the previous episode, we could have bought that. That looks like a big plot too. That, potentially, that's actually the biggest plot we would have owned. That's cheap, isn't it? And that's, again, that's not in an auction. That's just its kind of standard field price. It's not as much of a bargain as what we did get from the auction, but hmm, part of me is a bit annoyed now that it's gone down. Yeah, well, what can I do about it? Now, the rule was, if it needed a full service, you'd lose it for an episode. So really, because I want to get the plowing done, I need to, I need to get this service done as soon as possible, don't I? Really, I'm gonna to have to do it because if I if I repair that now, I wouldn't actually be able to use it until the beginning of the next episode, which would be the middle of February. If I don't do it this episode, I'm delaying it by another whole episode again. Um, right. Well, what do I do? So it didn't let me do this before. Uh, so I, I guess it changes on the amount of years that you can actually have it for as well, but. This time around, it will actually let me borrow 17000 over a five-year period. Now, look at that monthly repayment. That is easily affordable. 
we do end up paying quite a bit extra back, nearly two grand extra back. But I guess the plan would be to clear that, wouldn't it? Okay, interesting. I need to go and look at this plot with the trees. Is it actually even worth it? Are there enough trees there? May not be at all. May not be worth it at all. Now, I know that there is kind of a... Let's go through here, shall we? I know that there is a little fuel point here. I don't know whether or not it's cheaper than the fuel station. You would assume, given this is a farm machinery point, maybe this would be like red diesel. That would be better. Alright, we'll just stick a bit of fuel in, not too much. If we get if we round ourselves down to about three hundred quid, I think. Okay, what's that? We put fifty seven pounds in. Yeah, let's bump it up a bit. Right, just to get it off the fuel like a bit like in real life, I think, isn't it? If you're desperate, if your light starts flashing, I can't deal with flashing things on my dashboard. I'd rather just go and stick ten quid or twenty quid in. Just to stop the light from coming on. Anyway, right, we'll head back. We'll grab the car, the, the trusty rust bucket, and we'll just drive down to this plot of land because hmm, it doesn't really have any benefit to us in terms of its distance, but yeah, we certainly could benefit from selling the trees. Maybe we could even make like a, a small off site. Yard. Don't know. I don't know. What I am thinking about, there is a there is a mod. Uh, just in mod hub, standard kind of game mod or available through the game. But I believe it's more like a, a small production that produces grapes. So rather than going through the whole vine process, where the harvesters themselves is what makes that so ridiculously expensive, you can just kind of place it, and I guess it kind of imitates you hand picking them and given that we're in France I feel like I don't know gra grapes potentially might be something that you'd get from France I'm sure that that's where I, the not the nice brands of wine are all produced I believe aren't they so yeah a small grape orchard in France just seems quite fitting with the map so I might have a look at that and maybe if we did get this plot of land, that could work as kind of a, a little small grape orchard all the way down the bottom of the map. Yeah, I don't know. We'd have to see. If that particular plot is near to where the sell point is that buys grapes, potentially the bakery if that buys grapes, then actually that could make sense. That might not be too bad. Now... I'm not going to worry too much about putting this away because if we are going to buy somewhere with trees actually we're going to need to drive straight down there with this anyway so I won't disconnect the trailer but I'll just try and pull it out the way a little bit that will do yeah left enough room to get past if we needed to we haven't actually got anything else to drive really not, not down there the car's got no business going down the bottom of the yard I'm going to go to the outside view because I'm still quite concerned that looks like a wasp nest. And it's funny, it's got like an interactive zone, but let, let's just switch my mouse on a minute. What? That is a wasp nest, isn't it? <laughs> I don't know if I would openly move it like that. Where does it go? That's my concern. Now, now it's behind the dashboard. That's even worse. I can't keep an eye on it. Right. We'll leave that there. What's this? Let's turn your lights on. This is this is a cool little mod. This is quite a cool little mod, isn't it? Anyway, as it stands, I don't play with keyboard and mouse. I play with the control. So let's go back to my controller. Right, let's drive down. Have a little gander at this field. Is it worth getting ourselves into more debt? Will it actually make back what we spend? And yeah, I, I kind of thought of it on the top of my head just then, but I do actually quite like the idea of having like a small grape orchard. 
here. Okay, so there's plenty of trees to our left, but it is not those. I'm thinking potentially it's what's in front of us. Kind of a small triangular plot. Yeah, I do wonder, is, is that it there? I've still got the minimap on in the corner, and really I shouldn't have that, you know. Let me turn that off. There we go. Because I did say I'd only use that if the machinery we were using was modern enough to have sat-nav. What do you reckon? Sat-nav in that? I don't think so. I don't think so. It's probably not even got a cigarette lighter point where you could kind of plug it the old school way. Right, I think this is the plot. And uh, let's just have a look. Am I stood by it? Yes. Yes, I am. So, still discounted. Oh, look, there's some nice, nice people down here. Look, down at the south of the map. Let me cross the road. There are quite a lot of trees in here. There are quite a lot of trees, actually. And we did do wild trees, didn't we? Alright, what did I do? Four... Four or five trees was making me eight grand, maybe? So, eight, yeah. This would easily cover the cost of the field. Plus more. And how far does it go? To pretty much exactly where I am, in fact. To about here. We can get some... Yeah. We could get some nice grape orchards in here, and I don't think there'd be a reason for me to keep the outer trees either. I would literally get rid of every single one of them. I think... I think this is something worth doing. Yeah. I don't want to just chop the trees down and then flip the field either. I don't want to make loads of money and then sell the field back. Because, again, I feel like that's not... That's not realistic and that's cheating. In real life... It would devalue the land a lot, wouldn't it? If it had a load of trees on it. Yeah. That, that were kind of chopped down. Can we still borrow the same loan? Oh, gosh. It's gone down. <laughs> Why has it gone down? Right, I need, I need to do it. This changes every time I load it up. So it allowed me to do 17,000. Hopefully still over five years. Good. £318 a month, that is just absolutely nothing. I think we're going to do that. We're going to take out that loan. We're now further into debt. We're, we're now massively in debt. In fact, what are we? 20, 30, just over 50 grand in debt again. But we borrowed 50 grand right at the beginning of this series. And see how much that we've got. Considering we're still in 50 grand debt, we've, well, <laughs> hopefully we've got, got enough assets all in all to actually recover what we've, uh, what we've borrowed. I don't know. We might still be living in debt. We might still be living with absolutely nothing. Right, let's head back to, let's head, in fact, let's go this way. Let's head to the shop. And we'll book in the Agri to get the repairs done. That will be them ready to go for the next episode, which will be good. And then, yeah, I don't know. Maybe we bring the man down and we, we start getting to work. Start doing some chopping. This could be pretty good. I'll try and do this in such a way that, you know, I don't spend episode after episode chopping down trees. Because, you know, I, I've done that a little bit already. And I don't like to... I'm not going to put in front of that van like he just did. Yeah, I don't like to be too repetitive and do loads and loads of the same thing, but certainly we will definitely... I don't know, we, we might make some money today. Right, here we are. So, we'll just park up. And we'll get this aggro booked in. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to pay for it now so the money is done and it's dusted. But we know I cannot use it until the next episode. So there's the Agri. Repair it. That's such a good price to repair. I should have done it before. Good. So the Agri now is, is running nice and sweet. Hopefully. Hopefully. 
We'll find out in the next episode. Right. But now, for the rest of this episode, let's just get in. Let's buy this. Yeah, that's such a good price, isn't it? 14,841. Boom. And we have got £1,294 available. Not much. Not much at all. But hopefully. In this episode, at least, hopefully, we can make kind of our, our first bit of profit from that field. I don't see why not. I've just realised as well, I've got the time at 0.5 as well. So let's try and multitask, drive and change the time. There we go. I keep doing that. I keep doing that. I don't know why. I think it's because when it first... When I first skip forward a day, I don't necessarily have everything on ready to go. So what I do is I slow the time down just before I hit record. Just Because otherwise, by the time I, I get into the groove and start the talking and stuff, it'll already be like 12 o'clock. So yeah, I do slow it down a little bit sometimes, and then I just forget. Just before I hit record to stick it back to times 10. But anyway, it's fine. We haven't done a great deal so far, have we? This thing is fast, by the way. It is fast. It's skiddy, but it's fast. I'm quite glad I bought this. This is a, a really good little addition. I certainly won't be loading pallets onto the roof anymore, though. That was... Uh, that was very unrealistic. Right, we'll park that up there. <laughs> that just makes me laugh every time. Um, let's jump into the van. Now, there is one little dilemma. Where on earth did I leave the log forks? Have I still got log forks or did I return them? I don't know. What's this on? 553 litres of tomatoes. So that's good. So maybe not the ex next episode, but the episode after, we should have some tomatoes and we can start doing some interactive productions, which I'm actually quite excited for because I've not done them and they just seem like a cool thing to do. Does anyone remember back in uh, FS19? I know that I used the mod loads and I think Dagoin used it on the original Vintage Survival, which was probably the best one. But it was the interactive honey making where you actually had to buy bees and you actually had to kind of put them into the the hive separately. And yeah, that, that was very interactive and that was good. That was such a good mod. And I'm hoping that this interactive one is, is something similar. Yeah, that would be good. They're producing quite a lot of milk now, actually. Um, I'm looking around because I want to see if the log fork's here, but it's not. I think it must be at the the secondary yard, maybe. Right, let's try and spin this around without ditching that into the the little water channel. Here we go. Yeah, I'm hoping it's here anyway. Worst case scenario, I returned it and I'll have to go back to the shop and get another one. Which would be annoying. But I don't remember returning it. Is that there? I think that's it there in front, isn't it? Yeah, that's it there. Right, let's connect that up if it will let us. Um, there we go. Good. There's nothing else we need here, is there? Not for a minute. I've not been here for an episode or two, actually. I've just remembered we do also need to do a bit of landscaping around here. And, well, let's shut that off real quick and just check in because the weeds are growing where I've ruined the field. But we knew that was going to happen. But the actual grass is not growing at all. Yeah, so hopefully get the other field finished, finish the ploughing, which will probably be the next episode. Then replant that field and touch this one up. Which will probably be in the episode after that, maybe. Maybe in the next episode, if we do well enough. And then we should kind of be good to go, really. Potentially, we, we freed ourselves up from all of this kind of own maintenance work. We might be able to just pick up a couple of contracts just to keep ourselves busy. And definitely boost that monetary figure. Because, yeah, 
Well, what did I say we're on? 45 episodes and we are still struggling. We are still struggling. In fact, we're now 50 grand in debt again. Yeah. It's all part of the fun. Right, here we are. I'm going to try and keep as close to the roadside as I can with the trailer. Because we don't have the agri, of course. And this man is not particularly great at pulling this trailer. Especially when it's loaded. So, yeah, we're going to have to do this carefully, I think. Carefully. Let's get the chainsaw out. And how am I best to do this? Let's do it like that, shall we? Good. That works, doesn't it? Yeah. So, I don't know what to know. I think maybe three or four trees. Load them up. Very, very slowly take them down to the cell point. That That's the bit that's going to take the longest. And, yeah, see, see how much we make from one load. Because that will help me identify exactly how much this field potentially could be worth. And then for definite, once I'm off of this and I've, I've saved it and I've ended this recording, I'll head it into Mod Hub and just see what those little kind of like miniature grape orchard mods are like. Maybe quite expensive, but certainly seems a good way to go, doesn't it? Right, so I think let's try and just get some trees all in relative line, all facing the same sort of direction. Yeah, right. We'll go with that. We'll go with three trees because this may actually fill up that trailer. Yeah, we'll see. Right, I will do the rest of it in some form of time lapse, I imagine. Maybe even just cut it out. I don't know. I'll see what it looks like when I edit this as a time lapse, but it, it kind of spaces you out a little bit sometimes, the time lapse. But yeah, I'll, um, I'll see how I get on, but either way. I'll see you very shortly. Okay, bringing it back in. So, I think I probably time lapsed that maybe. I might have done a, a cinematic y type thing instead. Or I might have just skipped the whole lot because some bits were quite bad. Because what I didn't think of doing was bringing some form of weight, did I? Yeah, and you <laughs> you kind of need a weight, certainly for some of the big ones. And there you go. That was my bad. But actually, I'm doing all right. They're, they're stacking okay. Oh, fortunately, that one just dropped in as well. So I do feel like I, I've been far more cautious this time because I've cut them into shorter lengths oh. yeah I've cut them into ever so slightly shorter lengths just so they don't overhang so much and I'm hoping that means it kind of it will counterbalance the, the man a little bit better because we have got quite a drive it is quite a drive to the cell point but the full trailer this was three trees I've not cut down any more trees and it's pretty much filled the trailer okay. So it'd be interesting to know. Three trees. How much will that make? Now, surely I can just pick these ones up. Yeah, good. Um, oh, spin it around. Smash myself in the face. Good. And it's probably actually a bit too long. What's going on? Come on. Oh, I could have picked that one up as well. Doesn't want to go in there too well. Oh, that's okay. That's not too long. Is it going to let me pick this one up too? Amazing. Okay. Oh, a bit of lag then. That's unusual. 
Don't know if you'd see that lag in the recording, but that was strange. Try and get it in there neatly-ish. Okay, that, that works, you know. That works. Let's get rid of those and there. That would do. Good. I didn't leave anything lying around, did I? Oh, yeah, I did. Oh, and I can't pick that one up. Typical. And let's cut that down to... Can I pick it up? Oh, I already cut it smaller. Okay, so can I do that? Yeah. Just say he's mucking around with the man again. It does, does take some time. And that pallet fork... Uh, log fork, sorry, on the man there. That's part of the mod that comes with that front loader. It's not actually very good. Can't do anything about it because I can't really afford to be wasting money on different leasing. But the base game fork will let you pick two or three logs up at a time. This one won't. This one barely picks up one. Yeah, it's not it's not a very good mod. Anyway, good. Let's do this without getting run over. Okay, let's redo some of our straps. The trailer has now decided to move. That may not be a good thing. Up until then it was alright. Okay. <laughs> it's not liking this. It's not liking this. Right, three full trees. Loaded actually relatively well, you know. Completely random sizes, no consistency at all. But loaded okay. The trailer's bouncy. It is wobbly. But it always is. That's just what comes with uh, FS physics, I guess. Maybe the log trailer is not particularly great, but actually we're getting to full speed all right we've got some decent power I do think I've loaded it about as maximum as I could with this one probably could have gone crazy could have got another tree on there if we had the aggro I reckon but this is good so three trees what are they gonna earn us we've barely even touched it look the little uh, the little tree triangle it's got loads more oh I'm losing steering now We'll get there. Maybe. We'll get there. Whatever we get this time around, I reckon we can times by 10. Yeah. Oh dear. <laughs> this may take a while. I'll tell you what, while it's faffing around, let's have a look which best, which place is the best for wood currently. Do I want to go to the, the far the far end one or the closest one um, oh, they're pretty much the same aren't they? the heating plant is actually given a little bit more so that's good because it's a little bit closer as well right let's go I'll see you in a moment <laughs> we've got here finally yeah <laughs> the man doesn't do great at pulling this trailer as you can tell now yeah I pretty much snaked my whole way here. Oh, there you go. Right, let's uh, let's see what we're gonna get. What do we reckon? Trailer's sliding along and moving around. Trigger's here somewhere. Here we go. Fingers crossed. Wow, seven thousand four hundred and sixty-three. Amazing. No environmental score here. I want to say the other one does give you environmental score. Maybe. Or maybe it's just because our score is bad. I don't know. That's good though, isn't it? So that's half of our field that we've just bought, paid back. And there's a lot more to come. There is a lot more to come. Right, well I think... Let's shut this off. I think now... This should be relatively good timing for an episode, I reckon. Now, I might just to save the boredom do a few more trees just before I hit record next time. Maybe we'll we'll start the episode with a full trailer here, ready to sell again. Maybe I'll do what I did last time and just kind of bring a couple of loads down and leave them all here. And then right at the beginning of the next episode sell them. That would be good. But hey, I mean, it's amazing. We're finishing an episode with £8,604. But we're not. 
because I've taken out a 17 grand loan in this episode. We're now 50,000 in debt. Yeah, so we, 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 we've got nothing. We, we still have nothing. And do you know what? I think I think succession really comes when we've got everything we need and no debt. I think that that's the point where we can start to feel like, yeah, we're doing all right now. We're doing all right now. And that's going to be a little while yet still, isn't it? A little while yet still. So quite a few more episodes of this still to come, that's for sure. Anyway, as always, thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it. Hopefully my voice isn't sounding as bad as I think it sounds. Uh, to me, it, it sounds rough. My throat is definitely hurting. But hopefully it's not so frustrating that you don't want to listen to me like normal, I'm sure. Anyway, thank you again. And until the next one, cheers and gone.